facial movements and expressions bring your characters to life. So now that we have the Vizims and the audio sort of take finished, now it's time to do our second pass, which is going to be the face. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to give this a little bit of breathing room because it's only one second long. And it'd be nice to sort of animate him a little bit beforehand, then talk, and then maybe animate him a little afterward. So just a little bit of editing here. So I'm going to drag select all of the Vizims down here. And I can shift select the audio. And you can see that I could slide it all over. OK, so we'll get, you know, maybe a second beforehand then the audio, and then a little bit after that. Okay. To do this right, I'm going to need to turn off the microphone and turn on, in the properties panel, anything that I want to animate now, including the face. Okay. So I'm not worrying about anything audio. I'm just sort of doing a performance now. So that could be things like the eyebrows, could be the head movements, Basically the, you know, some of the fun stuff. So I will now go ahead, hit record. Hey there, people. And you can see I get the face camera input. So this is packaging all of these different properties for the face. And you can see I've got the eyebrows and all that other fun stuff. Hey there. And as I hit play. Hey there, people. Hey there, people. I might have one of these properties that even after the fact, I might want to say, well, that's a little too much. Like maybe his eyebrows go a little too hot. So even after you've done a recording, if you like it, you can still go and dial down a property. So let's say I turn the eyebrow strength down. And notice that the eyebrows don't go up as much. So that's really helpful that you can, after doing a performance uh, take, go ahead and actually play with many of the property settings to dial it in. But let's say we wanted to add to this. We said, well, that's pretty good, but I want to do another uh, take because maybe after he gets to here, I just want him to you know, maybe go to here and just sort of hold. Okay. So I can do another take. So I'll hit record and I'm just going to keep my head over here. All right, here we go. All right. Notice now I have two different takes and it actually numbers them. But right now it's going to seem really abrupt. There are people. Whoa. I don't know, maybe you want that, but probably not. So one of the nice things is not only can you slide the take around, but if you get to the very top here, so not the edge in the middle, but up a little bit, notice I get a little sort of a pointer finger, and that allows me to blend takes together. So now it's going to blend between those two takes. So if you don't get it perfectly dialed, don't worry about it. If there's any part of your first face take that you like, you probably want to keep it and then just do another take and use a blend. And that is the second round of recording that you're probably going to want to do with every puppet recording.